Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to apply role-based access control and file system permissions to configure a common use case. Here's what we got. We've got this Teams directory. It's been shared out onto the network using best practices for permissions and access-based enumeration has been enabled. If I look inside this, we can see that there are two folders, one for human resources, one for operations. The idea behind this is that we've got a folder for each department. Everybody who is in that department can create content in their own folder. Everybody who's in the department can read everybody else's content. Everybody who's in the department cannot modify anybody's content other than their own. And they shouldn't be able to see inside of anybody else's folders either. So HR users should not be able to see operations and vice versa. Let's pop over to our domain controller and I'll show you what users are set up to make that happen. Right, so over on the DC, uh, I've got a couple of users for each department. Here's two human resources users, HR user one and two, and two operations users, ops user one and two, just using generic usernames because it makes it a lot easier to see what's happening. Both of the HR users are a member of the HR users role group, and the both of the ops users are a member of the ops users role group. And those are the only roles that we need to be concerned about for this particular use case. Now, in addition to that, I've created some access control groups. I've got operations teams read and operations teams read write. I also have HR teams read and HR teams read write. For both of these groups, HR teams, both read and read write, the HR users group is a member. Same thing down here for ops teams read and ops teams read write. The ops users group is a member. That might sound a wee bit weird at this point in time, but we'll see why that is once we get over and start configuring the permissions. Back over to the member server. All right, back over in the member server. So first thing I wanna do is make sure that we don't have users from different departments accessing the folders of a department they don't belong to. So let me go back up over onto my teams. If I look at the properties and bring up, oops, bring up the advanced security to see the access control list, I haven't done anything here yet. Everything's being inherited from the volume root. I do not want my users to be able to see everything, and I do not want my users to create anything at this level either. I'm going to have to disable the inheritance. And in this case, I want to get rid of user's ability to write. So I'm going to delete that one. And then this guy, I do want the users to be able to see what's going on on the Teams folder itself, because they have to be able to get through there when they connect in from the network. But I do not want these permissions to be inherited down in through the entire directory structure. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to edit and change the scope so it applies to this folder only and therefore will not be inherited by any of the subfolders. I'll apply that, and we've now made that change. We're all good at this level. So right now, all users will be able to read everything that's in this directory. All right, let's go down to subfolder. We'll work on HR. So bring out the properties for human resources, security, and advanced. Here is my access control list. So we can see that there's no inherited permission for the users anywhere in here. Right now, though, the only users that can access anything is going to be administrators and my account as the creator. So we have to do something to allow all of the HR employees to be able to see everything in this folder and everything that ever gets created. I'm going to add in a permission. I'm going to pick, in this case, Expand this out a bit. So this is going to be HR Teams read. Okay, we're going to satisfy the requirement that everybody can read everything. I'll say okay. I'm going to leave this as read execute. I'll say okay. About, oh, before I go there, I'm also going to leave this as applies to this folder, subfolders, and files. So it'll be inherited by everything that ever gets created in here. I'll say okay and apply that. Here is my permission. The only problem is nobody can create anything here yet. So what I'm going to do is add another access control entry. In this case, I'm going to add in 
ACHR teams read write. We'll say OK to that. We want to add the write permission in, but we do not want this permission to be inherited by all of the subordinate objects. So I'm going to change this to this folder only to prevent that inheritance from taking place. And we'll say OK to that and I'll apply it. So now everybody who's a member of the HR staff role group, which is a member of this group, will get read and execute on everything that gets created inside of this particular folder. And the same uh, role group is also a member of this group, which means they're going to get read write, but only on this folder. So the write permission will not be inherited down to any of the subordinate objects. So I think what we should do is go over onto a workstation and we'll create a couple things and try that out. Okay, so I've logged on to my workstation as HR user one. I'm just going to go to that share. So the Teams share. Now I'm a member of HR. I can see HR because access based enumeration is not enabled. I cannot see the operations folder. I should be able to see everything inside here and I should be able to create things inside here. So let me open this. I'll try to create a folder. So there's my HR user one folder. And I'll also create a file while I'm here. And I've got those objects created. No problem. Now let's go back over onto the file server and see what actually happened with that. Okay, back over on the remember server. Let me get out of the HR folder here. I've got all this set up so I don't need to change anything. If I open this, here's that folder that was created by HR user one. Let's take a look at the permissions. We'll look at the properties and go into the access control list. And if I look at this, we can see that we've got the original access control entries that were inherited from the Teams folder. But notice now that we've got this thing where access HR uh, Teams read has been inherited from the HR folder. And this is read execute, meaning that anybody who's on HR should be able to read this. So I'm going to take a look at HR user one and we'll see that HR user one has all the permissions. And the reason for that, of course, is that HR user one is the owner. So they have full control. On the other hand, if I look at HR user two, I have only read. And if we look at one of the ops users, They have absolutely nothing, which makes perfect sense. If we also look at the file, we're going to see something that will be very similar. Whereby read is inherited along with everything that came from parent. HR user one is in here, of course, with full control because they own it. And therefore, HR user one We'll be able to make modifications to this. Anybody who's a member of HR users through the acquisition from this access control group is going to be able to read. And then we would be able to do exactly the same thing over on the operations folder. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.